Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a long time. I actually came back from work. I wanted to record a video after a few months I would say and I wanted to do like my nighttime skincare routine but it just kind of felt very awkward because I just kind of disappeared from social media, all platforms I know on Instagram and name it and I was just gone. Um, so I think there has been a few misunderstandings revolving around that and some of you all have been uh, sending DMs to my friends uh, asking if I'm okay and I just wanted to let you guys know that everything is alright. I just um, had to take this time off and I know I'm not a person who speaks a lot about my personal life. I especially don't like to uh, showcase my personal life on social media, be it on, on YouTube. I try to keep it very um, professional. I mean, I wouldn't say professional, but I, I even if it's on Instagram, even if it let it be my stories, I try to keep it only to the point and not really involve um, my family or sometimes, of course, I do mention my friends, but um, I had something that kind of changed my world um, so I lost my mother on 13th of March and I just didn't know how to deal with it because I'm not right now in Switzerland and this happened in India and I couldn't even fly home we all do have a lot of experiences in life and, and we think that we've hit rock bottom but until and unless something happens and then you feel like okay whatever I went through was nothing as compared to this and I would say this situation is something of that sort. I'm just trying to come to terms with it and trying to just realize that okay this has happened and I just didn't know how to react because I feel I no longer am the person that I used to be. Um, but I, I don't want this video to be something which is very depressing or people feel like sorry for me. It's just that I wanted to take this opportunity to thank you guys for just being there around and also just few of y'all who have been concerned about my situation and not knowing what's happened to me and I just disappeared. So I just wanted to say thank you. That means a lot. Um, and at the same time, I no this is something that I like doing so I'm just taking my time to uh, just feel whatever I'm feeling and um, but I am definitely gonna come back it's not that you know I, I just don't want to do anything anymore and I'm sure everyone whoever's watching this has at some point lost somebody precious lost a parent or maybe both or a family member brother sister best friend husband wife could be anything a child but uh, i think we all do go through our own journeys and in a way it's strange that we cannot feel what somebody's going through this takes a lot of courage to sit here and talk about that especially because i'm not a person who's been you know, so active or so much um, extrovert about my personal life. Uh, but I just wanted to give out this message to even if there's just one person out there, just know that you need to be a bit more um, expressive with your feelings. Try to tell the people you adore and the people you want in your life. Try to tell them that you love them more often. Um, it's never enough. Uh, try to just spend some more time, more memories and I think at the end of the day this is all that counts and this is all that you're going to look back to and be proud of or that's all that will be left with you and nothing is permanent. I don't want to sound like some guru sitting here and giving a speech about life because I'm sure I know nothing about it but it's just important to sometimes sit back and acknowledge the fact that we are not certain about tomorrow we're not certain about the next moment and that's why before I could sit and record my video I thought it would be just nice to give some explanation about what's been happening and also not to apologize because I'm not sorry for anything I, I 
needed the time and I don't feel that I owe any apologies or any clearance or any explanation about my life or about me just going away. I just feel like I need to get myself together, get back on track and at the same time do something that of course uh, my mother and my father would be proud about and also just to kind of give more time to the people that I love, I care about and at the same time follow my passion and do something that keeps me happy at the end of the day. I do have uh, some content um, which I had recorded of course before March and I will try to get back slowly by uploading them first and then um, getting a bit of motivation and I just used to enjoy the entire recording, editing, content creating process so I'm sure I'll get back to that. It's just like overnight I kind of lost myself and in a way my entire walls came crumbling down. Um, so I just also had to take that distance from social media because I couldn't fake uh, just living my life the way I used to because Everything that I did, whether it was on Instagram or, or on YouTube, I did it with my passion and I did it with transparency. It was never a situation where I did not feel like doing it and I forced myself for doing it. So I'm not one of those mainstream influencers and I hate the word influencer um, because I think I'm not here to influence anybody. I'm here to just share my life, my ideas, my, my passion about skincare or makeup. And if that could just help somebody in a good way, that's that's my idea about doing this entire thing. And I'm not here to be one of these mainstream bloggers and or vloggers or YouTubers who, who are just here to show you how beautiful their life is, wherein in fact nobody's life is perfect. And I think um, a lot of people who would even compare themselves to the kind of life that I live or anybody else on YouTube would live. I think that's just a very false idea. We try to show you guys only the stuff that we want you to see. I, I know a lot of people do that. They show their big houses, their fancy cars, the kind of clothes they wear and you at the end just sit there and wish that you had that but let me tell you it's never enough it's never enough and that's why I don't like doing like my makeup room tours or this is where I live and this is what I do because I am as simple as you guys are and I'm just one of you I'm sure even you've got some passion that you would sit and talk about for hours so that doesn't make me any different and um I just wanted to make it very clear because also a lot of uh, people have been requesting oh we would like to see a makeup collection. My makeup collection is tiny. I do receive a lot of PR samples and a lot of stuff that I can try. I definitely sit and do a review about that. I'm the last person to go out and buy the latest release of makeup because I think I'm a very um, smart person when it comes to shopping and I like to invest my money in certain things. But again, I'm not a hoarder. I don't like to keep all of the, you know, the PR samples that I keep on receiving. I'm usually giving it away to most of the people that I know. If I have to travel back to India, I just take everything that I'm not using and I'm just giving it to my friends or family. And I tell them to pass it on because I know at some point it's going to expire. I'm not going to use it. It's just staying there on my counter and I just feel bad when I do not use things. So please do not have any idea of comparing yourself to somebody else you see on social media and I never had that pressure because I don't do my YouTube for my subscribers I don't do my you know, my Instagram to see how many followers I've got I just like that platform to kind of express myself I'm sure there are days uh, when I would just want to be home to just have one home cook cooked meal and um, it's it's just so emotional right now to think about certain things that I would never experience again and um, so just be grateful for what you have stop comparing your life with any of these so-called influencers or people on Instagram who show their vacations and um, their perfect marriage or I don't know the perfect life so that being said uh, uh, thank you so much for being there for still keeping the views up and um, just for me to know in the back of my head that I'm still 
there. <laughs> so thank you guys once again. I wish you a wonderful time. Take care. And if you're going through any hard times because it's also the quarantine happening all over the world. So I know it's not easy for anyone right now. But um, if you're getting frustrated with your family, getting stuck with them, just know that that's the most precious thing probably that you have. So say I love you to the people that you love more often. Give more hugs and cuddles. I'm not talking about the quarantine situation, life in general. And stay strong and stay happy. Sending you lots of love and hopefully I'll be back with a new video soon. Bye.